The community outraged after a long-standing little free library was vandalized early this morning. Thanks for joining us. I'm Trisha Mackey. And I'm Rob Williams. As you can see, it was caught on camera, and police are now searching for the people seen on the video. Simone Jameson joins us live from Covington with a story you'll only see right here on Fox 19 now. Yeah, that's absolutely right. You two Chavry now tells me that he woke up early this morning, was getting to re ready to restock his supply of books here at this little free library when he noticed the damage it's just outside his home on Parkway Avenue in Covington, a site that had him floored after he tells me he reviewed his camera footage. It's hurtful. I mean, it's something I'd hope would, you know, benefit people and people would enjoy and take, you know, the community ownership of neighbors and stuff were a little upset about it. Chab now tells us his love for books and desire to give back to the community led him to open this little free library just outside his home on Parkway Avenue in Covington back in 2018. Books and resources he mostly provides with his own money. It's just whatever I usually can get. And the hardware I had to buy that and the plexiglass was something I had to buy. So when he saw this damage to the Little Free Library early Wednesday morning, a broken door and shattered plexiglass, he was heartbroken. His surveillance footage capturing the criminal act shortly before 7 a.m. I just don't understand why somebody would want to do something like this. I mean, it served no benefit to damage it and it helped out the community so much. Renau says it's not the first time something like this has happened and that this little free library was vandalized back in November. He waited four months to open it here again. And they broke the glass as well. I had print, a 3D printed a holder for bookmarks that I put right in here that they also stole out of here. Renau says he planned for a while to provide other items like DVDs and even video games for free in this little free library holder, but that now he's discouraged. If people can't respect, you know, it based basically with books and magazines in there, then I can't trust people with these putting these other items in. Now he says what he wants more than anything is for the people responsible to come forward and make right their wrongs. Obviously some young kid, you know, you know acting out of impulse. I would like them to come forward and help maybe repair and replace it. Um, you know, see this get back up and running the way it's supposed to. Hopefully we can get this all solved. now tells me is now accepting help from the community as well. Anyone who is open to donating books or helping to replace the door or replace the plexiglass is encouraged to reach out. Live in Covington, Simone Jenkson, Fox 19 Now. Hopefully someone steps forward. Yeah. Simone, thanks.